So, hi class. Good day. Welcome to another topic for discussion in basic accounting. Today's topic is all about accounting cycle. Step 8. Prepare closing entries. Game? Game. So, prepare closing entries. In this step, we make the temporary accounts or nominal accounts balances into zero. Okay? To start new for next accounting period. Okay? <clears throat> Sa step na to, lahat ng temporary or nominal accounts isasarado natin. At para masarado yon, dapat zero balance siya at the end of the current period. Para next accounting period, e eh bago na yung mga amount. Okay? Yung mga amount ng transactions na involve. Okay? Ngayon, ang tanong dito, ano ba tong tinatawag nating temporary accounts or nominal, or nominal accounts? These are accounts used to record transactions good for one accounting period and are closed at the end of that period also. Okay? Example of this are all income and ex ah, sorry, all income statement accounts. So, example nga niyan, mga revenue or income accounts and expense accounts. Okay? Example yan ng mga temporary or nominal accounts. And also, the drawing account. Okay? Temporary account din yan. Though, hindi siya part ng income statement. And then, we have what we call income and expense summary account. No? New account title to na kailangan familiar tayo. Ito yung income and expense summary account na to is uh, normally nagagamit lang siya no? or purposely ginagamit lang siya tuwing naggagawa ng closing entries. Okay? To close the revenues and expense accounts. Then whatever is the balance netong income and expense summary account, i-close din siya papunta sa capital account. Okay? So, just to add lang, no? meron tayong temporary accounts na tinatawag. Meron din tayong tinatawag na permanent or real accounts in reciprocal with the temporary accounts. Permanent accounts are not subject for closing. Its balances are carried over from period to period. In other words, amount will always be cumulative. Okay? Example niyan, yung mga balance sheet accounts like assets, liabilities, and capital account. Okay? So, to appreciate class, no? Let's demonstrate. Sabi natin, pag nagko-close tayo again, no? Kino-close lang natin yung mga temporary accounts. At ito yung mga um, revenue, expense, and yung new account title, income and expense summary account, and the drawing account. Lahat yan afterwards mako-close papuntang capital account. Pero bago yun, dapat ma-zero out natin siya. Now, unahin natin i-close yung mga revenue accounts or income accounts using the Pag-Ong Delivery Express. Okay? So, para madali, punta na lang tayo dun sa adjusted trial balance. Dito natin kukunin kung magkano yung amount na i-close natin. As of the moment, for service, uh, service revenue and income interest income accounts, meron tayong balance na 129,080 pesos. At para ma-close to, no? Alam naman natin pag revenue or income accounts, normally credit 'yan. At para mabawasan 'yan, we debit. Tama? And para mabawasan siya uh, na maging zero balance, okay? We debit with the same amount. Tama po? So, entryhan natin. So, debit, service revenue account, yan, 129,000. Debit again, para mag-zero out yung interest income naman, 80 pesos din. Okay? Ganun lang asimple. Now, ano yung kabanggang credit niya? Ito yung sinasabi nating bagong account title na income and expense summary account. Na normally ginagamit lang natin pag closing entries. So, yun yung gagamitin natin. Credit, income and expense, summary account, yung total niya. 129,080. Explanation natin. 
to close income accounts. Ganun lang siya. Okay? Now, ang susunod nating i-close yung mga expense accounts. So, ito lahat yun. Okay? Yan lahat yun. Ito. Okay? Saan natin yung close or saan natin transfer yung amount nito pag zero out natin? Doon sa bagong account title. Income and expense summary account. Okay? So, alam natin na ang expense accounts normally debit yan. Para mabawasan yan, we credit. And to make it zero, dapat i-credit natin at the same amount. Okay po. So, balik tayo dito. Ang debit natin dito, of course, the income and summary expense account. Okay? Debit, income and expense summary account. Yan. Hindi pa natin alam yung total niya kasi um, kailangan isum up natin yung total na expense account. Total, lahat ng, total ng lahat ng expense. Okay? Para malaman natin kung magkano natin i-debit yung income and expense summary account. So, total lang natin to, Itong mga to. Yan. Okay? At, at ang total nito ay, ayun, 129, uh, 112,950. So, that will be the amount to be debited for income and expense summary account. So, debit, 112,950. And i-credit natin lahat ng expense account. So, ilan lahat yun? 13. 13 expense accounts. So, credit natin with the same amount para mag-zero out. Okay? And, explanation of course, to close expense accounts. Ganun lang siya. Okay? And then next, ang i-close naman natin, eto nga, income and expense summary account. Okay? Pero para ma-close yan, magkano ba as of yung balance ng income and expense summary account? By the way, class, income and expense summary account, pwede rin siyang tawaging income summary account. Okay? So, i-check lang natin. So, income and expense summary account, no? Nung unang entrada natin, we, saan yun? Yan. Yung income and expense summary account natin, nung unang entrada natin sa closing, we credit. So, sulat natin, credit. Credit 129080. Yan. Tama po. And then, after nun, we debit. Ito. So, sulat natin. Debit 112,950. Okay? So, may credit ka, may debit ka, ibig sabihin, deduction yan. Pero, kung saan yung mas mataas, no, whether sa credit or debit, doon natin ilalagay yung balance. And since mas mataas yung credit, credit balance yan, ibig sabihin. So, 129,080 minus 11,250. And the balance will be 16,130 credit. Okay? And if you will watch the previous video, no class, ito yung lalabas na net income natin. 16,130. Yan yun. Okay? So, alam natin na credit balance as of the moment yung income and expense summary account. And so, to close that, We debit with the same amount. Okay? So, debit income and expense summary account, 16,130. At saan ito mapupunta? Sa capital account. That's why we will credit the capital account. Same amount. Ong capital, 16,130. Explanation, to close profit to capital. And this is consistent with our formula in getting the ending balance of the capital account. Tama? Ang net income, ina-add natin sa capital account. And this is 
consistent dito sa entry natin. Kasi crane edit natin yung capital account. That means, it increase because of the net income. Tama po? So, sarado na ang revenue accounts and income accounts and the expense accounts and the income and expense summary account. Ang last na i-close natin, the drawing account. Okay? For adjusted trial balance, 3,000 siya kung drawing. Tama? So, normally, debit yan. Para mabawasan yan, we credit. And to make it zero, we credit at the same amount. Okay? So, credit natin. Kung ang credit natin, drawing account, ang debit natin, yung capital account. Ah, capital account. Okay? So, debit, 3,000 on capital account. And credit, no, para maklose yung drawing account, kasi normally debit yan. Credit on drawing account, 3,000. Explanation, to close drawing to capital. And this is consistent, no? Again, this closing entry is consistent dun sa formula natin in getting the ending capital balance. Kasi, no? Yung own capital natin dito, dinebit natin. That's mean, that means, nabawasan siya. At sa formula natin, ulitin nga natin, in getting the ending capital account of the, uh, yun, ending capital account, binabawas natin ng drawing. Tama? Tama?